Sometimes the questions can be interesting. And like this one, uh, you know it's a redox question because it's got things like current in it and time in it. So you're going, okay, yeah, all right, I must be able to do this. But it's kind of asking something a little weird. 2.7 grams of metal X is plated onto a cathode. So you don't know what the metal is. But you know it's plated from a solution that's XCl3. Okay, so that tells you something about the identity of the ion that you're zapping, doesn't it? And the current of 1 amp is run for 8.05 hours to be able to get that quantity. What's the identity of metal X? Huh? What's the identity of it? Okay, look, a lot of times when we were doing calculations previously, uh, when we were looking at uh, how to, to find the identity of a compound, generally speaking, what that means is you might have enough information to find the molar mass. And if you can find the molar mass, molar masses are great things to be able to then figure out what you might have. Well, if you're looking for the molar mass of just one individual element, it's not even a compound, when you've got a molar mass, just look it up on the periodic table and bang, you've got yourself your answer. So how are you going to be able to find the molar mass here? Well, first of all, what's molar mass? Grams per mole. You've got the grams. This information must be able to find you the moles of that chemical. Okay, so here's something that you know. You've got current and time, and you know that there's a formula, number of moles of electrons equals IT over Faraday's constant. So if you put everything into there, 1.00 coulombs per second, which is the average, times the time of 8.05 hours, wait a minute, can't use hours, and yeah, I know, 60, 60 minutes per hour times 60 seconds per minute, or 3,600 seconds per one hour, that's fine. I mean, some of you memorize that, that's cool. All divided by 9.65 times 10 to the 4 coulombs, the moles of electrons. When you do this math here, you are going to get a certain number of moles. Moles of electrons, right? Not moles of chemical, moles of electrons. And by the way, when you do that, the number of moles of electrons here equals 0 decimal 3001 something moles of electrons. But that's not moles of the chemical. But you kind of have an idea as to what's going on here, don't you? Because, look, this is being electrolyzed, and that means that this was made up of Cl negative and X with a 3 positive charge. It was gaining those 3 electrons to form metal X, of which you have 2.7 grams. What's the number of moles of electrons here? 0 decimal 3001 moles of electrons. And if that's how many moles of electrons you have in a 3 to 1 ratio, do I have to do the stoichiometry or can you see it? It's going to be, for every 3 here, you have 1 here. So for every 0 0.3 here, you have 0 0.1 here. And you've got 0 0.1 moles of that metal X. Guess what? 2.7 grams divided by moles is grams per mole, and that's the molar mass. It actually comes out to equaling about 26.97 grams per mole or something like that on your calculator when you keep all your numbers. That's pretty close to 26.98, and that means X, I'm sorry, that X equals aluminum because aluminum is 26.98 grams per mole. It's just an interesting type of question. And really, just if you figure this out here, that three positive to one ratio here, oh, you're going to be just fine.